Good morning from day four of our Disney Wish vacation. Today's our day at sea. We've got a couple things planned today. We are going to get breakfast, number one. We've got the princess gathering, which is something that we had to make a special reservation for in the app. So it's like, just like uh, Hyperspace Lounge, there was a little place where we could click and then make a reservation or book a reservation. And so we had to do that with the princess gathering. That's at nine and it's about eight. But for the princess gathering, it's on five for four. And then at noon, Jen and I have Enchante. So we're gonna go have a fancy brunch. But yeah, it's an exciting, like fun filled day. And then, we stopped to finish walking around the entire ship. I didn't make it through the entire ship the other day when I was looking around. So our princess gathering is here in the Grand Hall. You have to check your navigator app to make sure of where your princess gathering is, but this is where ours will be. And you can see they've already started roping it off. And it's in a half an hour is when we will be visiting with the princesses. Jackson's taking center stage to do some dances up on the stage. Looking good? Yeah. All right, good job, bud. All right, let's get back in line. Well, what's happening? I think all the princesses are coming out now. Oh, hello. From time to time, a wish is made. Oh, there he a is wish up there. that's like a call. It's heard by friends across the seas from kingdoms big and small. It's basically an invite, see? A wish that calls them here to a royal kind of gathering that happens once a year. A chance for friends to join us of the royal sort, you see. They're summoned here to meet you for a sort of wishing spree. Wait, why are we riding? Uh, I don't know. Do we need this for the wish? Well, a wish that rhymes is like a spell. We'll cast for wishing this. Ooh, a wand that's full of magic. Think that'll do the trick. Go wish upon the wishing star with rhyming and make it quick. Wishing star, please grant this wish and all our good friends here. Our princesses, our heroes, from kingdoms far and near. It's time for celebration. Huzzah to you, most loyal. You all are welcomed. Give a cheer to a gathering most royal. Oh! Ooh. 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 With a little bit of magic, oh, and Tiana hard came work, out. and the courage to keep on trying, you can make a dream come true. And she did it despite the obstacles she faced. From the kingdom of New Orleans, it's Princess Tiana! <laughs> Above us right now. Oh, okay. so I can't oh see her. and with the curiosity about the world and the willingness to take risks, she found the courage to push herself forward and pursue her ambitions while discovering her true self in the process. From the kingdom of the floating lights, please welcome Princess Rapunzel. Oh, oh, oh. And a strong-willed wayfarer with great pride in who she is and the challenges that may face her. She fought for what she valued, even when all seemed lost. For when you sail beyond your reef with courage, you may cross any ocean. From the island of Botanui, it's Moana! Welcome, welcome, our loyal friends, with grand applause as we invite them to receive their special guests. Oh, there was Belle. And share them along their big old parade. Yes. But before we greet our princesses, know this. This royal wish will only last a little while. For when the wishing star chimes, our guests must depart. But we'll bid them farewell with a full and thankful heart. And it looks like the royalty has all gathered. So let the royal gathering begin! Yay! Oh, I have to go get <laughs> Can you say hello to Tiana? Hi there, you're having a great time so far. Yeah? What's been your favorite thing that you've done so far? You love the slide, right? Oh, having some fun? Well, maybe you can ride it one more time for me. I don't think Mama Odie would be too happy if I tried to step this big old dress down there. <laughs> think you can do that for me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, thank you so much, sweetheart. You know what? I'd love to get a picture with you. Do you want to come closer and say hi to Moana? You can come right here, bud, on this circle. Jackson. Oh, he's spelling it for you. He spelled it for you. It's Jackson. That's so smart. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to say bonjour to Belle? <laughs> this is Rapunzel, Jackson. Hi, Jackson. It's nice to see you. Are you having the best day ever? Yes. Do you want to show Rapunzel your dance moves, Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wow. 
Whoa. Look at this one. That's so neat. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Whoa. All right, we came into Marceline Market. Gonna get some breakfast. Seems like, oh, I'm gonna get this egg Benedict again. It was very good. So as we're eating breakfast inside Marceline Market, I was going through my Navigator app and I found that there is a, people have been asking if there is golf on the ship. And I didn't think there was, but I guess there is a scheduled event called Chip It Golf for kids 12 and up. And it's par for the course for our guests 12 and older to compete in our special greens in this fun tournament. So I think they have like, in the hero zone, it's like a multi-purpose space. So they set up little portable mini golf, I'm assuming. But I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna see if I can stop by and at least see it and see what it looks like. Jackson's too young to do it. They're not letting anybody under 12 do it. All right, after breakfast, we're gonna head into Dory's Forget-Me-Nots, which is a gift shop here, just outside of Marceline Market. Lots of Disney Wish stuff in here. I'm gonna find something interesting. Like, I want something interesting for the inaugural cruises or just for the Wish itself. I do like that they have specific Disney Wish Aqua Mouse shirts. Oh, this is for the Swiss Meltdown movie. I haven't seen this one. The one that I told was underwater. So this is the size of Turvis Tumblr, and Turvis is the brand name of the Tumblr. This is the size of Turvis Tumblr that I like, and I would 100% buy this one if it was that bigger size, but I don't want to buy this smaller size. We don't really ever use the smaller size of these tumblers. This one's kind of cool. Oh, they have a lot of different... I like this one, Never Stop Wishing. That's a specific shirt for the Disney Wish. But I guess they're out of stock on a lot of stuff right now. Like take for instance, they're out of stock on this hyperspace lounge shirt. It ain't like dust and crops, boy. Oh, okay, so this is the first spot that I've seen what the scenes are. So you can see the forest moon of Endor, the asteroid belt, Corsicant, uh, Mustafar, Tatooine, and Batu. This one's interesting too because it says the different kind of ships that you might see while you're in hyperspace lounge. Like you'll see the Razor Crest, you'll see a Galactic Destroyer, you'll see the Halcyon, a TIE Fighter, the Millennium Falcon, an X-Wing, and there were some other like unnamed ships in there. We also saw like a, uh, a Star Tours a Star Tours ship go by when we were in there. Yeah, so it's kind of neat. Like these are specific to the Disney Wish. Like Avengers Quantum Encounter is the name of the story at Worlds of Marvel where we're gonna be for dinner tonight. They're definitely like way out of sizes. Like the shirt that I like, they only have in 2X and 3X it looks like right now. But I don't think I'm gonna be getting this shirt. Oh, okay. Wandering Oaken's Music Festival. I thought that he was just planning a party for their wedding. Was it a music festival at Arendelle? Maybe I missed the point of that show. Oh, the kids section has the one that I saw. So on the Aquamouse, I saw Scuba Scramble. That was the movie that was playing when I went through it. I also, we got to check out Wheezy's Freezies today because I think I can get a Dole Whip there. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, because Rapunzel's on the back of the ship. These are the kids shirts. Ship Hip Hooray, that's a fun, I like that. That's a good time. We might get that one for Jackson because that's cool. Uh, just kidding, the smallest they have is a youth small in that shirt and he would be an extra extra, or maybe we would get him an extra small and he would grow into it, but small, that's not gonna be till he's like 10. This one's kind of cool. I didn't see this one anywhere. It says Disney Uncharted Adventure on the Disney Wish. Oh, this is the game. That's not happening right now. That's why nobody's buying this shirt because nobody knows what this is. So this is the interactive game that's on the ship that's not up and running yet. That's an interesting little find right there. I think this is the shirt that I'm going to get because it's, it's kind of cool. It says, wish you were here. It's the Disney wish. Something else that I thought was very interesting about this particular store is there's no sign on the outside that says, other than the digital sign that says Dory's Forget-Me-Nots, but like this is the entrance into the store and there's just like, there's a panel up here, but there's no sign saying what this store is. So now, uh, we came back to the room. We got changed for our Enchante brunch. Mm -hmm. We're going down there at noon. It's about 11.30 right now. At 11.30, baby races are happening. So they just gave the okay to do the baby races yesterday. Right. So today's the first day that the baby races are back since the pandemic. So it is officially called Jack Jack's Diaper Dash, mm -hmm. and it's up in the Hero Zone. So we're headed up there right now. Yeah, let's do it. She's got chicken tenders out there. She's she's summoning her over with a chicken tender. There it was, she won. 
before the race even started. The other babies hadn't even made it off the start line. And as a prize, she gets goldfish and chicken tenders. This is the final round. It looks like it's a bracket system. We had two winners, and now we've got the two winners gonna race against each other. Race those babies! Oh, she's confused. She's like, I just did this. Finian might be... Oh, he's off to a quick start. She's like, I just did this. Why am I doing it again? Finian could win the entire thing. He could win it. He wins it. Oh! There she goes, now she's off. Oh, I guess he didn't get anything. Before when they did this, they got a bib. Maybe because this was just approved yesterday and this is the very first one, they didn't have anything to give. So I talked to one of the crew members and they said that the winner will get a prize they just didn't have them in the cupboards here, so they have to go and figure out where they're at oh, on the ship. Yeah, because it was like a, a la not a last minute thing, but... Yeah, it just got approved yesterday. Yeah, so... That was so cute, though. I do feel bad, though, because one of the kids was crying because it was everybody was cheering so, so loud. loud. Yeah. Oh, oh they're racing. Like, <laughs> the, the regular, regular kids are just racing now. Um, um, but they said they took down their room number and they're going to send it to their room. Oh, good, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So, it's um, a blanket. They get a little blanket. Oh, cute. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to see if we can't do a baby race maybe in the future. Yeah. yeah. Give us like a year from now. We'll, we'll be here. We'll be baby we'll racing. We'll be training. I guess not a year from now. Maybe like a year and a half. Yeah. So, all right. Now we're going to Enchanté. Enchanté. For brunch. For brunch. All right, let's see. Oh, it's really pretty. Yeah, this is just the rose. So this entire area of the ship mm -hmm is themed to Beauty and the Beast. So the movie, right, the live action. And that's why this section is called The Rose. And I think this is one of the hidden gems of the wish is this bar right here. It's called The Rose. It's awesome. Like you're looking out over top of the ocean here. Nobody's in here. And it's cool looking. So we are all checked in for Enchanté. And now we're just sitting in The Rose looking out over the ocean. This is so pretty. Isn't it? Also, I should have come in here when we were on Castaway. Like, it would probably be a really good view of the island. Oh, yeah. I would, maybe it, it might have been a little crowded, do you think? Maybe. The only thing is, is they don't have any non-alcoholic things on the menu. Oh, no. Yeah. Everything sounds really nice. Ooh, there's a specialty one called the Rose. It's $50. Oh, no. Crazy old-fashioned. A monkey spritzer with a royal wedding. I like the names of stuff. Your Vanda Bump Rose again. Mm -hmm. You can see Paulo has like a gear motif for the clock wow. and the uh, because this is all based off of Beauty and the Beast. But we are going to Enchanté. Thank you. Thank oh, you. sorry, go ahead. Enchanté in French means nice to meet you. Oh. oh. And then so they were walking towards to the entrance to the palace. Similar to Beauty and the Beast. Oh, the entrance <laughs> to the palace. Like oh, over yeah. here, over here. Oh, and there's the a mirror. Disney car up there, you will see over here. Oh, the only one, okay. And, and the rest are going to be here. In oh, the on your pins. I cool. like this chandelier. Yeah, me too. It's cool. It's like the inside of a champagne glass. That's pretty neat. All the wines. I believe you, I saw you on our vacation. We, uh, we met on a vacation, but you did the dream already, huh? Yeah, yeah. I think we, we had you uh, for something on the yes. dream or the Yeah. And Angelo is going to look after you, remember you from the dream. So oh, you're yeah. yeah. welcome. This oh, is the thank you. Look at these chandeliers. And some blue roses, too. So Enchanté is a prefix menu. It is $75 per person. Yes. And it's going to be... It's a tomato and arugula pie. Okay. Yeah. And then the second course is a braised, braised pork. Was it braised pork? Yeah, braised pork. Okay. 
salad. Then we're gonna have a, I'm gonna have the salmon. They're gonna fully cook my salmon. You're gonna have the beef. Yeah, I'm gonna have a beef. And then we're gonna have, he just said the dessert is- No, there's chicken. Oh yeah, then, then we're there's gonna a chicken. chicken. Yeah. yeah. And then they just said for the dessert, he just said lemon. And I wonder if it's gonna be like bull and bear lemon. Maybe. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I think so. He yeah. said it's a surprise. So the chef here is a three-star Michelin chef. Mm -hmm. It should be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. So I think they're trying to make this a little bit more inviting compared to Remy, whereas this is, it's brighter in here. The dress code's not as strict here. I don't know. I'm interested to try the food. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, it sounds good. No, I do wish that I could have tried the, uh, the champagne and the drinks. They, they sound amazing. So we'll have to come back in a couple of years and try it. It's true. We will be back. On the table, there's this little teeny tiny... This, this reminds me of miniature cooking. Right? Look at how tiny that spoon is. Well, what is this? A spoon for ants? And then what's underneath the gold dome? Butter. Yeah. An interesting thing happened while we were waiting for our table in the rows. They blasted all the horns. And we could hear all of them in the back of the ship inside. Some very loud horns. So this is the same bread that you would get at Remy from mm. a, a famous baker in France. Just as delicious. Yeah. Wow. And I think the little the little miniature spoon makes everything taste better. Yeah, it really adds to the saltiness. I love it. I want this at home. So the water that they brought us is sparkling Evian, and our server is Thomas, and he's from France. And he said he's never even seen sparkling Evian. So like. Have you ever had sparkling Evian? No, it's, a, it's very special and very rare. <laughs> tomato con cassé, slices of cherry tomatoes, pine nuts, parmesan cheese, and pesto. Mm -hmm. And it's the arugula mousse with micro arugula on top, more parmesan, and pesto oil. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Bon appetit! Thank you, Thank you. guys. This is a tomato and arugula pie. It kind of smells like pesto. Okay. Yeah. And then underneath is kind of like this, this very, very thin shell. Mine was, I, I got like a really nice sweet flavor from the tomatoes. Oh, I'm getting a little punch in mine from the Parmesan. Mm. Like a sweet, with, with a kick. Okay. Nice. I like it a lot. It's very like refreshing and like opens up your, your taste buds in your palate. Mmm, look at you. Mmm. It awakens your senses. <laughs> it's a good start. It's very, uh, nice way to start the meal. Thank you. Madame Monsieur, here we go with our salad. The first layer is going to be a pork belly, which is cooked twice in barbecue sauce. Okay. On top, the mixed lettuce and the seasoning, which is going to be champagne vinegar, hazelnut mm -hmm. oil, and herbs. Oh. On the side plate, instead, you will find steamed bread, which is pan seared. On top, mango, passion fruit, and ginger. Ooh, what if I got a four leaf clover? Oh. Wow. Maybe that's why mine fell over. <laughs> okay, you can see some of the pork in there. I've already had some of the pork. <laughs> Let's see what Jen thinks. Oh, it tastes like curry. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. They said it was uh, braised in barbecue sauce, but it tastes like curry. I don't, it's, I don't normally like curry, but this isn't bad. Okay. Yeah. Also, there's been some like some like banging happening somewhere above us. Almost like if you guys have ever been to Palo on the other ships, uh, especially on the Dream of Fantasy, and there's the basketball court above it, and you always hear the basketball players oh, on yeah. top of it. Sort of like that, but there's no basketball court on top of this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, so they're saying it's like a sliding door or a door that you have to go in and out well, or just Tom, kids running around. Thomas told us that it was the beast upstairs. Can we hear it? Was the beast roaming around the castle? <laughs> Please seal that akancha all the way through. It's for the beef, medium rare. Underneath of each protein, you're going to find a brunoise of asparagus. On top is pollen and black pepper. And all around the board is the egg yolk siphon. Mm. Wow. Bon appétit. Thank you. Delicious. So this is wagyu for me. And you got... I got the salmon, so this is what the dish comes with um, normally, but they did cook mine all the way through. So right. mine's fully cooked. And it has an egg yolk sea foam. Um, he said, I think, black pollen. And then there's asparagus underneath. Oh. I think one thing that I was interested to see is that he said there was asparagus underneath, and it's just like finely chopped asparagus. Your beef looks amazing. Also, like, beef and egg yolk, man, they go well together. Yeah, so good like butter. <laughs> Mine is really delicious as well. The salmon is like for me it's cooked perfectly and the uh, the egg yolk is delicious. 
so creamy. With organic chicken breast, on top, you're gonna have a chicken glaze on the top with a touch of flower scent. On the side is a famous homemade potato in your kit against the clothes. And you're gonna have the creamy sauce pullet, the creamy chicken sauce. Mm. I love it. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. So both this chicken and the filet that I just had were from Remy. Not the actual sauce the filet was in, but the actual cut of meat were also available at Remy. And then this chicken is just straight off the Remy menu, so I'm very excited to try this. This is going to sound a little strange, but just that chicken alone made this restaurant 100% worth it for me. It was so I always forget, because chicken is never like an exciting dish, but I always forget how good it is. It is so incredibly tender. Tender and flavorful. Like, yeah. It punches you with flavor. I don't know why you keep saying everything really? punches. <laughs> well, it's, it does. It hits you with like a lot of flavor. It's very good, and it's got like this really nice. I guess it's like umami, where it's like a little salty. It's just so delicious. Yeah, it, like activates your salivation gland. Mm -hmm. So good, so good. It's very, very good. The sauce. I wish that I could ask for more sauce. I think he said it was like a like a chicken soup or something. Yeah. Oh, you can bend so the plate. You, them. <laughs> you cannot break this. Really? It's a special oh. material is from Japan. So every night they take the roll and make it flat again, right? Oh. So you don't have any sharp corners to grab those plates, so always oh, slide them, yeah. right? <laughs> Interesting. Here's the dessert of the lemon. Thank you. A beautiful dessert, now it's the wow effect. <laughs> dessert. It took three days to create this dessert, the lemon. So the shape, the shell is cocoa butter and white chocolate. Inside is a lemon curd around and a heart is lemon jam with finger lime, which is lemon caviar. What we recommend is to take the knife and you cut it all the way down. You're gonna see the heart inside. The only part that is not eatable is the leaf, so this one you can leave it on the side. Mm -hmm. And then a beautiful cannoli from Bordeaux, our finger food, from and vanilla French cake, very soft inside. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. So we were thinking this was like the lemon at Bull and Bear, but it's a little bit different. Yeah, so they, it's white chocolate, the outside shell, and then there's the lemon curd, and then inside is lemon jam and lemon caviar. You can see yeah, the the pearls in there. Is it very delicious? Very good. Well, it's, it's very um, soury, but like in, a, in the best way. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. I got a decaf coffee at the end of the meal. It's a good looking <laughs> coffee right there. Jen got some tea. Mm. All right, I have to say, this lunch, this brunch, was really good. Well, and I was a little bit nervous going into it because we heard such like mixed reviews, but I don't know what was going on with the other. Like this was so, the food was so delicious. The service was amazing. So our server was Thomas. He's, um, we had him actually on the dream, yeah. but now he's moving up, he's being promoted. So we won't have him as a server next time, but he was fantastic. Yeah, he yeah. was really good. And all the food was really good. All the flavors went well together. Yeah. Like I said, the only thing that I wasn't 100% a fan was, was the curry barbecue. Mm. But like everything else, I would eat it every day of my life. Yeah, it was so, so good. It was a great way to end the cruise. Yeah. The thing I wanted to point out is there was this one little like private table back here. He said all the servers are calling it the boudoir. So this is the only restaurant on the ship that has its own private smoking deck so that the guests that are smokers don't have to leave to have a cigarette. They can smoke out here. And then there's only uh, one the private room, room, which is room. not really related to Beauty and the Beast. They did the same with the Palo One. Mm -hmm. So the private room are a bit disconnected. Okay. So that's why the theme is a bit different. And it's only this big table for the parties. So we can only welcome big parties for this private room. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah. So there's another private room for Palo. Yes, which is right behind. It's on the other side. Oh, and gotcha. you're having this little corridor for the cruise and they can pass. Wow. And they're the same, like they look the same? Yes, these are just a different color palette, which is darker. We kind of switched, so now it's very bright. Yeah, you see, right compared to, to Remy, yeah. which is dark wood, is Art Nouveau. This is more baroque. Uh, the color oh. is inspired by the French baroque, the blue. Oh, okay, and okay. Uh, white and gold, but it's for Lumia for the candelabra. Oh, wow. Yes. That's so it's cool. much more brighter. Yeah. And, uh, I love it. It's, yeah. so, it's so pretty. So, I will say, on the way out, we talked to three different guests 
that were eating at Enchante, and everybody had glowing reviews of it. Yeah. Everybody they, really enjoyed it. But they all said the same thing, that they heard mixed reviews, but they couldn't understand why the reviews were so mixed. Right. So, I don't know, I would definitely give it a try. If you're give coming it a out. shot. Yeah, it was delicious. So a lot of people have been asking me if there's any golf on this ship, and I don't, I haven't, there's no specified golf area, like Goofy's Golf or anything like that. But, on the Navigator app, there was something that said, Chip It. And so Chip It Golf, that's where I'm headed right now. It's in the Hero Zone. I'm gonna see what it's all about. Ooh, okay, so here's Chip It Golf. Ooh, ah. It's neat, so there's just a green over there. And then they give you Velcro balls, and you have to try to hit the Velcro ball over here. Let's see. Oh, oh, negative two. Oh, negative three. Oh, that was a good one, though. Five, that was good. That was pretty good. Oh, he's saying, get, get loud. He likes it better. Oh! Well, that was a close one. Everybody's going crazy because we just got a 15. Look at this. There it is. I wish I'd been filming it, but the crowd went wild. Wow. So, it is after Enchante. It's after the golf. It's just kind of like the in-between time between now and... So it's just the in-between time between now and dinner. So we're just kind of like looking for something to do at this point. What do you want to do? Like, you know, exploring around. It's kind of meandering. We stopped into Mickey's mainsail and I didn't realize that the Disney Wish has specific inaugural sailing ears and a lounge fly backpack. See, this says on the side of it, inaugural, or where does it say it? Where did I see it? Oh, on the back right there, inaugural, oh. inaugural sailings. I don't think it says it on the backpack. But you just know because it matches. Yeah. There's a tumbler here that's the Disney Wish inaugural sailings tumbler. What does it say on the back? Oh, for the make oh, this is part of the make a wish one, so oh. ten percent of this will be donated. And it's twenty eight bucks. Yeah, does it is it a turvis or is it just a non look at the top. It's a turvis. Oh, okay. I might get yeah, that one. Nice. Why not? Huh. It's cool. Some Alex and Ani inaugural sailings for the Disney Wish oh, yeah. medallions. And then this is the the keel coin or a replica of it. Captain Minnie on it. Is is Alex and Ani still like a thing? Yeah, I think so. It's still like pretty it's popular. Right there. No, I know, but like, is it still a very popular thing? You know what I mean? I don't think it's as popular as Pandora. No, but it used to be super popular. Like people would like rope drop to try to get the new releases. Yeah. I don't know if it's still that way. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. And they have this fifty dollar big bag right here. It's like a, a tote bag. It says inaugural sailings on it. Didn't see this the last time that we were in here. Oh yeah, this was here. I didn't see it though. I'm oh. just saying. And then it says. Disney Wish on the back. And I think it has a... Like oh no, it doesn't. I thought, yeah, I thought it had like the bottoms. Nope, just a little dress. I have to say, I, none of the merchandise for the Wish appeals to me at all. There's one that I saw in Dory's Forget Me Nots that I liked, yeah. but it was not in my size. I, well, yeah, okay, so that merch I feel like is a little cuter, but I don't really love anything in here. We're, I think we're going to get this tumbler, this yeah. turvis, just because it's a big turvis. And these are just good cups to have in general, but yeah. I don't know. Not really feeling it. Maybe they'll come out with new stuff. Maybe. So we've been looking at these, these frames, this entire cruise, and we found a shirt in Dory's Forget-Me-Nots. Mm -hmm that we found out that this is called Uncharted Adventures. Yeah, it's a shirt themed to this interactive game that's not available yet. Not quite running. Yeah, it's not ready yet. So uh, hopefully on our next cruise on The Wish, we'll be able to play it because we really enjoy the midship mysteries on The Dream and the Fantasy. That's a fun interactive game. Jackson liked it. So I think this would be a fun thing for him to do. Just notice it's really hard to see but Jacques and Gus Gus are in the carpet here in this stairwell. Oh, I okay, yes, I see it now. Yeah. And so we are on the stairwell between four and three. That's where they are. I wonder if there's any other little hidden things in here. Yeah, that's them again. No, it's Jock and Gus Gus again. Oh. <laughs> you gotta you got like cross your eyes a little bit. Like, yeah, uh, like a magic guy. Yeah, it's like a magic guy. Yeah, they're just all over the place in this carpet. <laughs> that's cool. And then we met up with Jackson who's down here playing in Mickey and Minnie's captain's deck. Just climbing all over everything. All right, Jackson. I have to do, I have to do mission. 
What do we have to do right now? I have to do a mission. We have to do a mission with who? I have to do a mission for Ant-Man. Why do we have to do a mission for Ant-Man? Yeah. Because he asked us. He said, can you help us? I need your help, Jackson. Oh. I heard you were really good at helping. Yeah. All right, so you want to go help, help Ant-Man? Yeah. All right, let's go do it. <laughs> Here we go, we're going to Worlds of Marvel. We're going to the Avengers Technology Showcase. Ooh. Jackson, tell them what we're here for. How are you, Jackson? What are we here for? What are we here to do? Uh, we're we're on going mission. on a mission. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. This is awesome. Wow. Look at this. Ooh. Jackson, you're doing it. We're going to, oh, there's all of the Avengers right there. Do you see that? Miss Marvel. Ooh. Hey. I think we're in a pretty good spot right here. All right, there it is. We're at table 701. This thing looks important for Pim Particles. Look at this salt and pepper shaker, too. Wow. There's little buttons all over it. I don't know what happens when we push the buttons. I gotta wait. There's the Avengers plate right there and my Avengers menu. And then look, I don't know if you can see there's a design on the napkin too. This is the place that I was most excited for. We've got a button here. This is the core assembly. I don't know what happens. Nothing happens if we push the button yet. Oh man, look at this stuff. This is the Avengers Technology Showcase. I will say it's pretty loud in this restaurant. But I think people are just excited. Oh, steamed bao buns, yeah. Heart of Palm ceviche? Wakandan salads. Okay. This iceberg wedge sounds so good too. Yes. From the Sokovian kettle. Okay. The bread service. Entrees assemble. Spiced pork chop, that sounds really good. Some chicken schnitzel from Sokovia. Seared Turbo Filet from New Asgard. Golden Mystic Pasta from Camartage. Delmonico Ribeye Steak with Black Truffle Butter from Madripoor. Oh, Madripoor. Ooh, all right. Ricotta Noki from Wakanda. Shiitake Tofu Udon from Tao Lo. The Shawarma Palace. Oh, you get a shawarma salad. Wow. I love it. This is amazing. All right, what were you gonna show me? Oh, look, it's like, it's like tie-dyed. I think it's beetroot. What, oh, I thought this was a funny shape. Oh, it's a marble loaf. Oh, marble instead of marble? Yeah. I and like it. And the red pepper dipping sauce, which we've had on other cruises. Okay, but not the only too thing, excited for that one. Well, the only thing I'm kind of bummed about is their zero proof cocktails sound awful. Oh no, I'm gonna get this Quantum Four Sipper though. Which one are you gonna get though? Simply strawberry banana with caramel and Coke Zero. That wow, terrible. that sounds terrible. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get the top one. Okay. Yeah, vanilla ice cream, simply mango, pineapple, and pop rocks. We opened up one of the pieces of bread. Oh, it's super soft too. Does it? Does it just taste like normal bread? How does it taste, Jackson? Oh yeah, it just smells like normal bread. Is it good? <laughs> All right, he likes it. So for the kids menu, we've got creamy creamed potato soup, garden salad. Crispy chicken tenders, mini cheeseburger, tomato mozzarella pizza, baked cod, uh, whole wheat spaghetti, barbecue glazed chicken breast sounds really good. And then for dessert, they have a quantum cupcake. And then the entire menu is like, it's, you can do some coloring. Oh, this says wish first edition on it too. That's cool. And then it kind of gives a description of everybody that we should see. Ant-Man, the Wasp, Captain America, Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, and then Ultron. And then we've got a word search over here. And then unscramble the letters. And then a quantum core maze. I am like super pumped for this restaurant. What are these eyes in the background? Are those Ultron? They look kind of, kind of different. Oh, look, there's our ship too. You know what? I need to breathe, find my chi. I just need 15 minutes to relax. Hi, I'm Scott Lang. Um, but you might know me as Ant Man. And I am Hope Van Dyne, the Wasp. Before we start, let me address the elephant in the room. I've heard a lot of chatter out there asking why I didn't shrink down, go in, and uh, kill Thanos in a really creative way. First of all, 
gross. <laughs> Secondly, it's much more complicated than that. Allow me to explain. If only we had the time. Tonight, through the power of quantum science, we will show you how together we can change the world. Yeah. These are quantum cores, cutting edge technology that for the first time allows us to specifically target our PIM particles to shrink or grow just about anything. When we give you the direction, you push the buttons on your cores and they send a signal to the regulator here, which in turn remotely targets an object to shrink or grow. Easy, right? I'll show you. All right, I brought this from my cabin. Because I couldn't fit it under the bed. What exactly is that? I made this. It's a swan. I want to shrink this suitcase and the swan to make it easier to take home. Well, making it smaller would make it better. Mm. Friday, initiate power-up sequence. Target acquired. What's next? Right line. Prepare to push your buttons. Push your buttons. Right, right. Wait, wait, wait. In three, two, two one. one. Go! Push it, push, push it, push it. Button. Good job, buddy. We did it! Pretty sweet, right? Oh, oh. oh what is that? Oh. Yeah, I see what you mean. That's, that's terrible. But why did that enlarge and the suitcase shrunk? I probably should not have uh, wired the remote targeting protocol. We'll be back soon with more Quantum Core demos. In the meantime, here's some other cool Avengers tech that Works. It might be just a magic towel. Without rewiring. Initiating Avengers Technology Showcase. Oh, now it's just showing scenes from the movies. Okay. Yeah, so each one, each table or each screen is getting some different stuff. Buddy, I got my quantum core. Hold on, let me look. Oh, there it is. Now I have my little... I think I can you wanna try push it? some buttons in there. You ready, bud? All right, let go. You did it. Now you can have a sip. What do you think? Is it good? What does it taste like? <laughs> so the drink that I got is called the Quantum Core Sipper First Edition. It's vanilla ice cream, simply mango pineapple, and Pop Rocks. To start off with, we've got the steamed bao buns seared ginger orange pork belly, toasted sesame seeds, pickled daikon, spring onions, and mirin soy honey glaze. Yum. Oh, it tastes like very sweet. I'm excited for this one. It looks good. Very tender, but it is a little sweeter than I thought it would be. It's interesting. I also ordered the shrimp. So I'm okay. excited to see what the shrimp tastes like too. The crispy breaded fried shrimp, white cheddar, and corn grits, bell peppers, collard greens, smokehouse barbecue sauce. Ooh. This looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I got this because I don't love the bao bun. Yeah. Okay. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Jackson got us some chicken tenders. Oh, look at this fun plate that it's on too. I'm back. Enjoying your dinner? Yes. You don't have to answer. I can't hear you. <laughs> anyway, sorry for the delay, but I think I fixed the issue with the quantum cores. Since Hope has stepped out with some fresh air, how about the surprise her shrink my terrifying swan back to normal size before she gets back? Three, two, one! Oh, no. Uh, bring up one of the egg cans. Oh no, we shrunk the whole ship! What just happened? Were you playing with the regulator again? Yeah, uh, I just wanted to surprise you. Oh, you did. Honey, you shrunk the ship. Uh, let me just, um... Quantum cores are back online. Activate your buttons now! Push the button, push the button, push the button! Whoa! We did it. All right. We did it. But the regulator's fried. Listen, Scott, I'm standing here with the captain. Marvel? You know. America? No. Crunch? No! Scott is the captain of the cruise ship. So I want to have a chat with us about what just happened. Jackson, we made the cruise ship small for a minute. Did you see that? We shrunk the cruise ship. We shrunk the cruise ship down. He's like, I just only care about chicken tenders. Right? <laughs> Jen got a little something from the Sokovian kettle. This is the cream of porcini mushroom soup with sour cream, red beet, and lemon. It has a very nutty flavor. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's very, obviously it tastes heavily of mushrooms, but it's also very nutty. 
I don't think there's any nuts in it, so I don't know what that is. I don't know. Yeah. And then from Wakanda, I got the Iceberg Wedge with candied pecans, smoked bacon lardons, black and globe radish, and Maytag blue cheese. It looks really good. Is that from the dishwasher company? Right. Our airspace has been Punch up the top 10 feet. Captain America! Oh. How's the Christian Cruise gig go? Try the chicken tenders. It'll, it'll change your life. What are you doing all the way over here? We're headed back to base and we noticed a spike in high energy levels at your location. They look like flying robots. Analyzing. Oh, it must be here from Quantum Course. Well, he sure isn't here for the chicken tenders. And later, we're going to have a serious talk about bringing quantum tech to a cruise ship. Look at this crowd. You try keeping their attention. But look, that guy's still eating. The kid and I will hold them all while you do it. Kid? Miss Marvel is teaming up with the Star Trek. Throw down on the high seat, baby. Just stay sharp and watch it. Oh, my God. Oh, what? What is it? I want to fly for dick. Like, good sick. Not, like, seasick kind of sick, which I'm... What are you feeling right now? Young lady, we have to work on your focus. Your focus. You're an Avenger now. Huh? Right. In train. Oh, okay, girl, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. 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 Let
Jackson, this is the greatest restaurant on any cruise ship ever. I got my steak. Somebody was out in the sun today, huh? <laughs> Try aloe. Oh, they did like a pose at the end. I can take this one though. This is my Delmonico steak. It looks ridiculously good. It comes with whipped Yukon gold potatoes, green asparagus, and a Cabernet reduction. And it also has black truffle butter. I got the chicken schnitzel with butter, sauteed potatoes, caramelized onions, long beans, lemon, anchovy, and capers. Lynn got the ricotta gnocchi with fontina cheese, caramelized grape tomato, broccoli rab, and arugula pesto. I think Ultron's still in it. Did you guys just hear Ultron just then? Feel it vibrating the table? Oh my goodness. Oh no! Especially. Ultron's not gone. He was in the quantum cores. My goodness. And a big uh, cupcake. Now we have a small one. Oh! That's so nice. That's a little cute. tiny cupcake. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, they gave us a top secret dessert menu. Sensitive information enclosed from the Pim Test Kitchen. Let's see. Subatomic sub sticky date pudding. Quantum key lime pie. Ooh, that sounds good. Nano Dobos Tortos. Nam Nano Dobos Torto. Wakandan flourless chocolate beetroot cake. That's interesting. Cheesecake bite. And then the Pim Donut Sunday. Okay. What do you want to get? I don't know. Do I want the Pim Donut Sunday? I thought this one sounded really good. Let yeah, it does else. sound good. You like caramel. No. But also, the key lime pie sounds good too. Yeah. Oh no. Whose favorite? This is Ant Man's favorite. I know, I saw that. Oh, this was called the Cheesecake Bite. Cheesecake with strawberry jelly, fresh strawberries, and like the strawberry mousse. And blueberries. Yeah, and blueberries. And then I got my got my Pim Sunday. It's got a little a little donut on top that's been shrunk using Pim particles. And it's Dolce de Leche ice cream. Lynn got the subatomic subatomic sticky date pudding with salted coconut macaroon, balsamic caramel glaze, and vanilla ice cream. Well, we're going in. So we're going to see the Little Mermaid in the Walt Disney Theater. We got about 30 minutes before showtime. All right, we are into the Walt Disney Theater, ready to watch the Little Mermaid. And as always, there is no photography or video inside of this theater once the show begins, so we'll be turning off the camera. Look, the fairy godmother is up on the balcony in the Grand Hall. So what did you think of The Little Mermaid? I thought it was so good. It really was. It was I, a fantastic show. I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah, it was like, the story was like a little bit different. It was like um, a little bit of a quicker telling of the story. It was only an hour long. But I really enjoyed the like singing style. Like Ursula was like real like jazzy and yeah. I loved the um, just the way that they revealed her as Vanessa. I thought that was really cool. And I was surprised that they didn't have the dog. Oh yeah. They didn't have Prince Eric's dog. I can't remember his name. If you know his name, put it in the comments down below. I cannot remember it. But he was not part of the show. Right. Um, I thought Sebastian was a like scene stealer. He was great. He was so funny. And then I thought it was also really funny when he came out and he called himself a crab. The kid behind us literally goes, he's a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was really funny because I always thought he was a lobster too. No, you didn't. You thought he was a crab and then I tricked you to think he was a lobster. Oh. <laughs> I got you second guessing yourself. But it was just this really <laughs> funny. Yeah, it was really funny. And like Flounder was really good. I love their costumes. The way that they did the, the special effects. Were yeah, amazing. the projection mapping when they showed her like treasure room was so cool. Yeah, it expanded throughout the entire theater. Yeah, it was really, really oh, and the way that they did the, the water. The way they did the water was mind blowing. It was such a simple. It was so easy, yeah. but like when the effect was amazing, it looked, like it looked really good. It looked so so good. And then one of my favorite performers actually played Prince Eric, 
So he was one of my favorite performers from the uh, the show that we watched the first night. And he season. was one of the singers in the live band for the fireworks. Yeah, the performers on the ship are incredible. Right. It, they are just like so, so talented. They should all be on Broadway. Right. But I'm happy that we get to see them on this ship. Yeah, so, that's and one then, thing that's great about Disney Cruise Lines is they have Broadway style shows. Like their yeah. shows are on par with Broadway. They, they truly are like amazing. And then also at the end of the show, Oh wait, Sorry. before you tell, oh there comes, oh. look at Mickey's coming out on the stage. Oh. There's Mickey. There he is! Um, but I did want to say, I like the way that they started and ended the show. Yes, yeah, I did so too. So everybody comes out and they're not in character yet. They're not in their like full costumes. Right. Yeah. And then they all start to transform into their characters. Mm -hmm. But there's like nods to who they are. Like, like... King Triton puts on his crown, yeah. but he's just like looks like a normal guy on stage, <laughs> and then he transforms into King Triton right. in the next scene. It's it's really neat how they did it. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was very really neat. very creative. But also at the end of the show, a whole bunch of confetti. Came, I don't know if you can see this in my hand. Came down from the sky, and from I from the ceiling, not from the sky. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I grabbed it so I can show because Jackson would have loved it. So I grabbed a whole bunch of it. So that in the morning when he wakes up... At 3 a.m. she's going to throw it at him. <laughs> I'm going to show him the confetti and he'll be yeah. so excited. So, and I'm going to save a little bit of it just to have as like a memory. Yeah. But um, he'll love that. <laughs> so, unfortunately now, it is uh, it's 9.45. We have to be at breakfast at 6.55 yeah. to get off the ship like a little bit after 7.30 or something like that. We also need to go put our luggage out in the hallway so that they can take it so that it's at the port when we get there. Right. So we need to go to bed. It's time for us to go to bed and get our luggage in the hallway. We already packed, so that's good. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is the end of our cruise. This is it. I'm Tomorrow's so sad. debarkation, all we have on board is the breakfast. Yeah. And that's it. It's been fantastic. I have loved like every second of this cruise. It's been amazing. Here's the way that it... Oh, and Minnie's out now too. Oh, But I will say this, when we first got on the ship, I kind of felt like, I don't know that I'm going to like the Wish because there's a, it's hard to figure your way around. By day two, love the ship. Yeah, I think the whole, like, everything is so beautiful and bright and very, they keep calling it Disney's elegant wish. And it is very elegant. I think they're, they're definitely, like, spot on with that. Uh, I love the ship. I still think that the fantasy might still be my favorite, yeah. but the wish is a super close second. By now, you've probably seen the live show, and I think we've talked a little bit about that well, in the I, live show. I think we'll talk more about this stuff oh, in tomorrow's, in tomorrow's video. video. Yeah, so okay. we'll get we'll get more in depth in tomorrow's video. We'll talk about all of our uh, pros and cons and all of that fun stuff. Yeah. But as for us, this has been the the best last day. Yeah. It ever. Really, Worlds of Marvel. <laughs> It was such a good restaurant. <laughs> yeah. It was such a fun show and such a fun time. It was. Jackson yeah. Jackson loved it. I think just if he loves something, that automatically makes it like a million times better. Right. So he was having a blast. So all in all, it was a fantastic trip and we're going to bed. <laughs> so with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. Hi, I'm Christy Buddha from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. And now it's time to pay the price.